Hello and welcome to the world that is Game Guru Hell. Slow down, city. Let's look. Nine FPS, ten FPS. It's it's just struggling. Now we've all had this. We've all had this in the past. Anyone who uses Game Guru is going to find this. And I've been working on a couple of things. Um, well, one thing. A little script to speed it up. So if I just enable that. And run it again. Um, should see a bit of a difference. A little bit of a difference. I worked on it last night after what uh, reading a thread um, about speed and whatnot, and I'll get a few suggestions. And I thought, oh, let's have a go at this because I've done it before in the past, and I've saw. I think Small G did a script in a similar fashion as well. Quite a while ago. Different, I think. I think it involved zones. He had a zone system where he went into zones and he hid things via the zones, whereas I've just used distance here. Right, we're loaded. And oh, look, it's moving. We now have 29 frames per second compared to 10. So pretty much 300% speed increase. Uh, that's pretty nice. I quite like it. Um, yeah, and that's that's just a little quick video just to show you a little script I've been working on. I'm not sure it's it's got issues. <laughs> there are issues with it, unfortunately, that I've noticed. Um, it seems to trick the ga game guru into thinking it's a multiplayer map. Don't know why. No idea why that's happening, um, but it does. But I'll, it, it runs fast. I mean, that's what everyone wants. Look at that speediness. I mean, the editor can't even run this map. This is running faster than the editor can handle it, so it's it's doing all right. And that's down to a bit of um, hiding of objects and such. A few other little tweaks I've added to it, to speed it up. Um, but it works a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to do. I'll tell you that. I didn't think I was going to get a massive increase unless I really reduced the distance down badly and it looked terrible. But the bit of fog like this has got depth of field. You can hardly notice the pop-up. And you can increase it and it still runs a hell of a lot faster than it does a standard. I, mean, I think I've got a 10,000 range on this at the moment. And you can see the FPS is fairly consistent. It will. It'll slow down if you really get in, like 22 there. I'll never get it down to 10 now. You know, if you go into the complicated areas, it will slow more. Because that's just down to the uh, engine itself. Can't do much more than that. But it is optimised, it's definitely running better, and in the main, you'd never know the difference. So yeah, I'm not, I'm getting it ready, oh, this one last little, the, the multiplayer thing, I just don't, oh, the game guru is out to just drive me nuts I think. Um, you put guns down in the level, and they just respawn like in a multiplayer, but it's not a multiplayer, and you can't pick them up again. Um, I've not got that in this because I haven't bothered loading that level up. As you can see, yeah, it runs lovely and fast and smooth, and collision works. Let's just check. Oh no! No! You tree! I don't know. No, nope, collision's working. Yeah, you might get that occasionally, because I'm, I'm sort of getting it so that collision is being disabled everywhere. It's one of my speed optimizations. And sometimes they don't update as often as they could. You see the AI ticking along, that's my script doing that. Takes quite a bit out of it, I'm not too sure how it'll handle it when you put lots of uh, people in. But a couple of people didn't make any difference, just like I say, the guns went weird. I've had a few issues with guns appearing due to different commands and stuff. Of light, very strange. But yeah, there you go, there's my optimization thing. And I'll go out, and before I finish, I'll reload it up as it was without it. Just a matter of disabling it, just to double prove that it is working. Run again. So yeah, I'm going to put it up on the store. Um, when I, well, maybe. I might just put it up as a script on the uh, the forums. I'm not sure. With this bug, the bugs I am keep getting <laughs> of late, which is driving me nuts, um, I'm not too sure to put it up on the actual store or not.
Oh, so this is how it runs without it. And you can see, oh, come on, if bring it up, 9 FPS. I might get better somewhere. 10. 9. I might get worse in places. 7, 6. Oh, we've got to get to the really slow part. So yeah, you can see it's definitely doing the job. It's working. It's like I say, it's a lot better than I thought it'd be. I didn't think it'd make as much difference as it's doing, but like I say, it's been a year. Oh God, it might even be two years since I played with Occlusion, and it didn't work. It worked to a degree, but it didn't work massively well then. But now it really makes a difference, as you can see. Obviously, dependent on how many trees you got in your level. Well, this level's got a lot of trees. It, it's absolutely full of the entire level is full of trees I'll quickly move around in the editor and you can have a look but it's that slow it won't zoom out at any speed so I'll try and look at that and I'll just run around it and see I haven't skimped I've made sure there's trees all over the map I think there's just well there's just under 4,000 200, 4,100 odd objects on here. Um, the script's accounting for 4,000, a potential of 4,200. I'd have to up that if I added more than that. But there's not many levels that actually have that many items in, really. Not unless you're going mad. And you've got a super beast machine. Uh, yeah, and I've got a Q6600, uh, 8 gig, with a GTX 660 running this just as a comparison. So yeah, until next time, I'll catch you later.